All right, well, let's talk to Laventon. Um, well, that was weird. Uh, Mia, I, I think you've got something stuck to you. Hey! Was that a Pokemon? Come to think of it, Volo did mention that there were carvings that resembled writings on the wall of the Solcian ruins. But suppose that that Pokemon we just saw is a species with multiple forms. Perhaps the carvings of that actual likeness are that of very Pokemon. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species of your Pokedex, Mia. Okay! Unknown notes were added. What's this now? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in the section I've just added. What was that arc phone I just heard? Is your mysterious device reacting to the new species? I wonder what that could mean. Read the cover of your Pokedex to jump to your unknown researches. By deciphering the cryptic symbols found in the notes, you can try to find the animals hiding throughout the region. These animals possess mysterious powers that repel Pokeballs containing Pokemon, so you won't be able to battle them, but track them down and catch all that you can can. Oh, this is a whole other thing we're going to have to do. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Exclamation point might be, I don't know. Splendiferous results. Um, oh, we have a, oh, uh, I want to return. Let's do, let's do the, um, update. Oh. You're back. Get the commander's office quick. She's pissed. Hey, how's that survey work coming along? We've been doing great since you helped us out. Isn't that right, Eugene? Is this a cutscene? Curse! What? No way! Eugene, my buddy! Congratulations, you've evolved into Dust Talks. Dust Talks. I love my buddy no matter what they look like, but its nickname needs changing, I guess. To rename one of your Pokemon, you just need to choose it from your party, right? He teaches you about naming and Wormpole. That is the cutest thing ever. That's so cute. Let's go to the farm real quick. You're a decent gal. Oh, here in the village fears you can have crops grown for your exchange of a fee. No matter how many they yield, but we'll give them to you. What kind of harvest are you interested in? I'm going to go with medicinal. Because I need more, I need more potions. Oh, that's really cool. I guess you have like a good harvest day or a bad harvest day. All right, the commander wants to talk, but it's time for us to level up a little bit. If you have a progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me that dex. We're about to be a five-star member. It seems you have to assert yourself a star. So we get more money from stuff then. Mia, we have a situation here. Let me explain. Lilligant, our clan's Lady of the Ridge is in a frenzy, and Arezu knowingly kept this from me. A Lilligant? A Lilligant? Yeah, there are they they are there are only female Lilligant, which makes this honored one our Lady of the Ridge. But this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out what just what Azru was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible, after all. If a Rizu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in the situation with the Raging Ursaloon of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats. Tell me about it, Commander. If we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will my people do? We'll be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all the work you put in to treat us one another as equals and keep us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if troubles were to break out. Mia, perhaps you have some idea on how we might address the situation. I could call Ursa Luna! Ursa Luna? So he and Warden Kaleba found you worthy? That's perfect. Ursula should be able to slip out Arezu with her, she's gone. If you're strong enough that Ursula deemed you worthy, that should be able to ready to quell Lilligan's frenzy as well. I'll head to Lil Lilligan's seat, then Brave Arena, it's called. If you'll excuse me. 
Listen here, Mia. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Hisui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. All right, let's save the day. Let's do it. I'm off. Oh, that girl you sent out earlier must have been eating some of Benny's potato mochi. I could smell them on her. That reminds me, I've seen Mrs. Mistress Calaba riding around on, on, on the Ursaluna she serves, digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursaluna uses a sense of smell to suss out where treasure might be. We already went over that. Oh, Ursaluna knows Aruza's scent. Oh, okay. Oh, there she is! Oh my god, is she okay? Doctor. Oh, Mia. How did it all go with Ursaluna? I helped him! Thanks a bunch, girl, but how'd you find me all the way out here? Ursaluna found you! From the potato mochi? You followed the scent of the potato mochi I bought at the Wallflower? Man, I wish I could eat some more of those right now. Jubilee Village sure was a lot of fun. My luck's run out, though, as you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon. I sprained my ankle badly as I was running away. <gasps> Is this supposed to be like our lesbian Brookback Mountain moment? Because I'm here for it, and I would like that. Please, thank you. It's like the world's punishing me. Ah, there you are, Rezu. Right? Eek! It's a ghost! I'm 99. I'm not dead, you bitch. <laughs> M -m Mistress Calabra, I uh, thought you died. I, I, I didn't. I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect. And I told everyone that you had a stank behind your back, thinking you were just some wealth from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry. I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilikan became frenzied, nor that my Ursaluna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I would have been more patient. It's okay. I didn't do a good job of explaining myself either. Ursaluna's only started acting weird after you got too close to Lilligan and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. Ah, oh, that explains the strange powder I found on Ursaluna. It must have been the powder from Lilligant. But what happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make the bombs, but I, I fell and I sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Juvelife Life was to get help for Ursaluna and also learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Levatin. And he told me about the bombs you used to quell Cleavor. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant using her favorite foods. Yo, you galaxy- <laughs> Yo, you galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Well, then you better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Where did he come from? <laughs> Adaman! What were you thinking doing all this by yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? Though, no one could blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes. Is Sin Almighty Sinnoh what they're referencing as Arceus? Because this is not Sinnoh yet. So they named the town- Like, I don't- Did they- Like, I don't- This is weird. We'll figure it out. And I failed to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied, too. Listen up, Mia. I'll take the bombs to Aruza- to, That Aruza made and meet you at Bra Brava Arena. Don't you worry, Arusa. Mia will calm down Lilligant and that will be all fine. Things should settle down. Head to Brave Arena, Mia. That's where Lilligant's seat lies. Arusa will be taken care of. My dear Babero and I will make sure she reaches her lady. And if you fail, Mia, I'll break her other leg. <laughs> okay, crazy lady. All right, I think, I think we're about to battle Lilligant. Progress is saved. Um, is this... Oh, this is the actual galaxy area. Oh, we've access to the settlement now. Can I go in their houses? Oh, this is, uh... <gasps> You're from the galaxy team, aren't you? Do you know of a medicine that can cure Psyduck's headaches? I need it for my Psyduck. I live together with these little ones and I can tell they've been suffering terribly lately. I wish you could do something to help, but none of the medicines I've tried have worked at all. There must be so many people in the galaxy team. Surely you have some sort of healer. Please, can you ask them for medicine? I'm gonna have to continue this. I wanna do it. I wanna do the Psyduck quest. I have to help the Psyducks. It's very fast. 
Is it? No, I thought it was gonna be him. Oh, maybe this is the medicine. Oh, here's the medicine area, because that's the doctor. Hmm, you're after a medicine that can cure Cydex headaches? Well, we come to the right person. Take this. It's a secret medicine that only those from my hometown know how to make. And you got a dose of secret medicine. Oh, you'll see. It works wonders. Give it to any ailing Pokemon and they'll soon be right as rain. Even a Psyduck's headache can be cured, I'm sure. Let's do it. Oh, you found a cure for my Psyduck? Let me give it a shot. Well, the Psyduck look all better already. What a relief. Thank you for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team, but if you're the sort of folks that are kind enough to help strangers, I guess I have no reason to worry. And what do you call that stuff again? Secret medicine? Gosh, the Galaxy team must be so talented. Maybe I'll visit you all in Jubilife sometime. Oh, we're really close. I love how foggy this is. Now, I have a lot of shiny Lilligans, so this one's gonna be interesting. And also, Lilligan is very big. She is a chubby, chubby lady. So it's gonna be very interesting to see this like giant, like round, um, round woman. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready. No. Fair enough. You're going up against a noble. Um. I think Petrie can handle this. This is the new Disajuaya as yes. All right, we're ready, we're ready. Okay, I can do this. <laughs> Lady Lilligan's a sight to see, even her frenzy. Below, behold her and her greatness. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. She has like a bionic leg. <laughs> all it took was one of my uh, poultices to get Aruza's leg all patched up. Um, Caliba, ma'am, I'm, I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Aruza tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but in her heart, she was in the right place. Is she supposed to be Commander Mars's, like, ancestor? Because Mars is an asshole. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge Lilligan, it's like a dancer, always in motion, always darting. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right, if you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. And that's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. I won't. I'm scared of Giant Lily again. She's too big. She's gonna use pedal dance. The welcome on invaders. Hi, sorry, I'm in a boss battle. Hi, Jojo. Thank you for the raid. When you press Y to dodge, you become invulnerable. You'll become invulnerable with Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. A brief, brief moment. Okay. Um. Oh shit. Sorry, my game crashed. That was weird. I don't know what happened. So odd. Why'd the great why'd the game crash? Hmm. So confusing. <laughs> such a such a buggy game.
I'm getting better. Fuck right, thank you. And that's how you fucking do it. <laughs> I'm definitely getting better. It's getting there. Yep. All right. That's fine. Petri, you got this. Strong style. Air slash. Murder. We did it. We did it. Right in the face. Right in your fucking- Yes! First try, everybody! I wonder what she looks like. She's gorgeous. And hippie. We did it! Hype in the chat! We defeated the boss battle! And we got the meadow plate. We got the grass plate. Hey, Corgi. Grass type moves. Yes. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant. You saved Aruza as well. I appreciate you. First Ursa Luna and now Lilligant? You're amazing. You know that. Being all frenzied didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. Lilo. Kazuma, thank you for the hundred bits. Aruza, I still owe you such an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Solcian ruins? Ruins all lives touch other lives to create something new and alive. There's windism in those words, too. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I've completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody here helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve don't try to solve anything by yourself, Eruza. You're a warden of all. We should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Kaleba wrapped you all up to, after all that to, yeah, wrapped all that up so nicely. Just one thing, Arezu. I know you were trying to do what you, was, you thought was right, and I approve of that, but from now on, do it without keeping things from me, agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Ligant, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Mirrorlands safe, Arezu. I'll be sure to inform Irida that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped to save Ursa Luna. You did well, Mia. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit, it was a fun day for me, too. You know, I don't have too many of them left. But now it's about time I'd be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time, we can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Mia. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligan for a while. I have a brand new issue of Cosmo, and I have this whole quiz about what your dating life is like, and if your relationship's in the toilet, Lilligant, can't wait to do it with you. Oh, what happened, Lilligant? How'd a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied? Though it's not like I'm perfect. I hid things, and I lied, and I couldn't help anyone keep everyone safe. I'm really sorry about everything. Lado. We have done it. 
Let's report our mission, everybody. We saved Lilligant, and we got the metal plate. I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Called another frenzy Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzy these Pokemon, but you... You just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. And I definitely want to be in the good books of something like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. <gasps> in touch with me? What's this? You quelled Lady Lilligant? Smashing! Let's head back to the village. The commander will be wanting a report. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of potatoes. <laughs> Found her by the center of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for going out to eat each masterful mochi when you have to come for dinner, lady. Like when you come to dinner later. But first, don't you owe Commando a report? Your meal can wait. It's time to leave a report with fabulous Daddy Kamado. Thank you so much, everybody. And don't forget to tell me what your favorite ball is in the comments. That's correct. It's all about balls today. My name is Mia Easily. Thank you so much for joining today. On our next episode, we will talk to the commander and try to find out what is happening next. And also, maybe we'll work on finding a new shiny member of our team. Um, please make sure to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're able to. Um, I don't know what happens with it. We'll just have a good time. And join me live on twitch.tv slash Mia Easily. Thank you for watching another fabulous fab fab that's my new rap song our fabulous new episode of mia plays pokemon legends rcs thank you so much for watching another episode of mia plays pokemon legends rcs and don't forget you look stunning today thank you so much